Hey, what's up? This is TJ from Escape the Fate, and this is my Lyrical Ink. Well, I was born and raised in uh, Exeter, Pennsylvania. I got into music when I was uh, probably about 12, 13 years old. My nephew and I, his dad was in a band and everything, and we would always listen to them jam in the basement. And when they were finished, he would hop on the drums. Uh, I picked up a bass for the first time. Obviously, I had no idea what I was doing in the beginning of it, but it, it kind of just felt right. So me and him kind of took initiative. We're like, I think we can do something cool with this. So I started practicing. and. You know, we jammed until I met the Motionless and White guys. That was uh, the first uh, legit band that we toured for five, six years together. And then uh, that's when uh, we, we toured with Escape the Fate. And then, you know, the rest is history. I ended up swapping bands and, yeah. Well, as far as meaning goes, I don't really have much. To me it was more about just the art itself and I would come up with an idea or look at something and be like, I just, I like that, I want that on my skin. So I started my first tattoo I got on my, my shoulder. I turned 16 years old and I asked my mom to, uh, to take me to a tattoo shop because she had to sign for it in order for me to get it. She actually had to pick it out, that was the rule, so she got, um, my Zodiac mixed with a little bit of Tribal. So I have that for my first tattoo. Uh, after that, I kind of uh, dove right into my, my sleeve here, which is just Japanese horror, kind of traditional stuff like that. And then on this side, I kind of went still like the dark horror, evil kind of uh, crimson skull here. Got some roses with the stake and the vampire. And then the tattoos that I have that actually have meaning Probably be uh, on my hand here. I have DLTP, which means Daddy Likes to Party. We kind of came up with that when we were touring with the Glamour of the Kill Guys, and somebody just kept saying, Ooh, Daddy Likey, Daddy Likey. It was just creepy, and it, it just everybody just started saying it and it caught on. And it was just this weird joke of the tour. So, a couple of us guys have that. My left hand here, I have uh, the Buffalo Club, which is a drinking game that. Uh, we all uh, do together, it's a lot of other bands, and it's, it, it's a big, giant drinking game. It's nothing that we came up with, but uh, it's just a fun drinking thing. You just call each other out if you're drinking with the wrong hand. And then currently, right now, I'm getting tattooed by Rich Pineda. We started an Egyptian, uh, like, astrology kind of piece on my leg, so it's going to be my best one. It's going to be awesome. I'm excited. I, I found out uh, about Rich through Jeremy. And I, I hopped on his Instagram and looked at his portrait work and it's just the best work that I've ever seen. And, and he was, he, he's a fan of Escape the Fate. So we ended up talking to each other and uh, literally the night before I got tattooed, uh, we came up with the idea of uh, King Tut's gonna take up like most of the right side of my leg. And then uh, around it, we're gonna do some spacey nebula galaxy kind of stuff. And then on the bottom, Backside, we're gonna have the the pyramids lining up with the stars, so it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be cool. This is TJ from Escape the Fate, and that was my lyrical ink. Up, this is TJ from Escape the Fate, and this is my lyrical ink. That was it, right? Yeah, cool. Cool. That's it. Fuck yeah. Dope yeah. sauce. <laughs>